part nine of this build. I need to get a floor pan made for this thing. Uh, I need to disassemble it, final weld everything, uh, get it back together. And yeah, that's basically where I'm at. There's not a whole lot I got to do yet. Look, you know, just some small things like, you know, get a throttle linkage hooked up and some, just, just some smaller detail things. This thing's getting super close for a test drive. It's still a long ways from being complete and done, but it's getting really close so I can actually start testing this thing and see how it's gonna work. So with that said, let's get at it and see what we can get done. Okay, so we're finally kind of getting to the point where this thing's getting really close for its first test drive. Uh, I got everything torn down to this point. I got to tear a few more things off here. I got to finish up some welding on this here frame, um, finalize some stuff before I reassemble. And there's a lot of stuff I got to weld up on this rear swing arm. Uh, I want to kind of put some gussets and cross braces and stuff like that in there to help hold the motor and the jack shaft in place because I. Don't really want things to break or bend or whatever. And yeah, I still gotta pull the actual motor out of there because that one is strictly just a mock-up that doesn't run. I have to rebuild it one day for a spare. We'll see, but um, yeah. So this is where we're at right now. Hopefully in the next few days, this thing actually is gonna go for its first test drive.
When I started putting those videos together and checking stuff out, it would appear that there's a bunch of stuff that I thought I filmed that is missing. Either I lost some of the footage, or maybe I was just getting so excited that I'm getting close to the end of this project and I thought I was filming stuff and I wasn't. Either way, I'm not sure what happened to it, so there's a lot that I didn't get there. Eh, a lot of it's kind of boring stuff, I'm just welding stuff up anyway, so I'm sorry it's not the greatest episode, but that's what you got. Um, so yeah, I don't know when I'll get on it, but I am planning to build another one of these when this one's done. I've already been collecting parts. Uh, this is going to be the donor motor for the next one. Um, I do plan on driving this for the winter here up in Canada, but then after that I plan on yanking the motor out of this. Uh, the current buggy that I'm building, uh, the motor makes about 56 horsepower. It's a fan-cooled motor, which isn't ideal. Uh, this is a liquid cooled motor and I believe it makes 109 horsepower so it should be uh, a good motor for this project I'm thinking when I get on it but anyways there hopefully there is coming another one and this is going to be the power source if you watched this far and you enjoyed please give me a like a subscribe come on back for some more and have a good one we'll see you later